Hi everyone. So today we are gonna solve the weekly contest 417 of read code question one that says find the kth character in string game one. So this is the first very first question of today's Sunday's contest, and it says that Alice and Bob are playing a game. Initially, Alice has a string word. In. So what we have to do? Alice have a string word that have first word as a. Like every time it will have a. As the first word and then you are given a positive integer k so what is this positive integer k now let's read it now Bob will ask allies to perform the following operation forever now Bob will ask Bob will ask allies to perform this following operation what are the operations generate a new string by changing each character in word to its next character in the English alphabet and append it to the original word so suppose we have first word as a and the next word will become B and then b next word is c so we will just do that c here so of, on performing the operation on c it's c next word is where d so d will come next to c and performing the operation on zb it will generate we were performing the operation on zb right so this will give zb ac because z next word is what a and then b's next word is what c therefore we got a and C and the final word will be added to the initial starting word like the <laughs> first generation like we are finding the next generation basically which is the next word just and after finding the next generation what do you do you're just adding it to the first generation keeping it both the words aside and we have to after doing all of the generation together we have to return the kth character Suppose here kth character is the ax 3, then the kth character will be according to 0 based indexing C, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, C will be the kth character. So I hope you understood the question. It's a bit little tricky, but give a read on your own so that you can understand. Very basic, the word will always contain A as the starting word, and this there will be given for a few words. And then after performing the operation, we will always give in a word and then which will have string as a always and after that we will have we will just find the next generation of that word like zb so z next word is a and b's next word is c so a and c we got after getting the next generation we will add it to the previous generation then we will find a new word like doubling we are doubling the you know word every time if you can see so that's what and after getting the final word doing num k number Okay, after getting the final word, then you will return the kth character in the word. So the, the, the complete string has to be of at least kth length, uh, kth, uh, length, right? Otherwise, we won't be able to return the final answer that is the kth character, right? So here we have string s, which is equals to a always as initial. And then, jab tak till when s dot less length of the string is less than k at least it have k number of length till that time we will run the following operations so we have taken a new c to take the s length and i have taken a initialized a new string okay this is a basically empty string i'll tell you why you have taken it so now i am running a for loop which will run till s dot length like c it will run till c the C is here the number of it's a length of string S. So this for loop will run till C and then I have taken a variable n which will store the string or the character which are present in the particular string. This variable will store the characters present in that string. Agar if it's a Z, then of course. The new string is finally storing the answers. That's why I have taken this new string. This will go till A. If it's a Z, then this new string will take A as the next character. If it is not, if it's not Z, then of course if it's Y, then it will be the next word will be Z. Therefore, n plus one, n is the size, n is tracking the current character. So we'll just do n plus one in that you know. Like of course the next character will give n plus 1 only right that is why else if it's not a z then we will do n plus 1 that is the next generation character we are getting 
and as we are getting this we will add this in the final empty string that is s plus is equals to ok right we are getting it we are making the new string and adding it to the final string that is s and finally we will return the s k minus 1 because 0 bit best in indexing therefore i am returning the kth element i hope you have understood this question and uh, if you did give a thumbs up and actually give a read to the question this is very simple i was also a bit confused in the starting of the contest but as soon as i have solved it i have i was i have taken like 30 minutes i did not solve the first two question then this slowly slowly i understood both of the solutions so yeah and also comment down the time complexity and the space complexity i hope you can do that right because it's a very simple one i'm not saying about that but i have discussed about the time complexity and the space complexity in the of, of second question and do give a watch to the second question also thank you so much for watching bye